Right. Um, a moment ago, you, you mentioned um, Abdus Salam. Yeah. Uh, can I ask, was, was he one of those who was a genuinely religious? I mean, I've heard it said he was a devout Muslim, and I've always wondered about well, that. Well, when I first met him, I visited Imperial College in the academic year 61, 62. He had a bottle of scotch in his desk drawer. Yes. So he was... He, was, he wasn't an observant Muslim. He wasn't completely... And as the years went by, he, had, he gave up alcohol. Uh, but he, was, he belonged to a sect, the Amidai, uh, I think that's what it's called, I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, that has been officially declared heretic in Pakistan, his home country. And as a result, for many years, he wasn't allowed back into Pakistan. Uh, but he was quite religious about that. I mean, uh, you know, I regard all religion with a certain sense of bemusement, and the Amidai sect seemed even a little bit more peculiar than the other branches of Islam, but uh, he was quite serious about it. He had two wives, uh, one of whom uh, an Oxford don. I know her, yes. And, and the other is a very conventional uh, Pakistani woman who lives in London, and they both came to the Nobel Prize uh, in 1979, and they alternated uh, appearances at the uh, <laughs> at the official events. Uh, he uh, it's in interesting because although he was quite devout as a Muslim, he deplored the anti-scientific attitude that he found in the world of yes. Islam. He he told me that he had tried to get the the states of the Persian Gulf, the, which are very oil rich, like Dubai and and so on, um, Bahrain. Uh, he tried to get them uh, to put money into building universities that would uh, include a, a component of basic science. And he said that they were very resistant to that, that they wanted to go into technology. They were enthusiastic mm -hmm. about technology, but they, they, they did not want to do fundamental science because they thought that was um, corrosive to religious belief. Probably rightly so. Yes, I, yeah. I suspect they're but right. But he didn't think that. that then. He didn't think it was no, corrosive. No, no. His point of view was that of many well-meaning physicists I know in America who think, oh, there's no problem. You, science, religion can happily coexist. Yes. I think, in fact, um, uh, although it's a slow process and there are many exceptions, that in the long run, uh, science is eating the lunch of religion. Yeah, I think so too. And 